Okay, so they're in. Okay, so this is okay here. We're streaming from the house Discord. Um, a crazy house world championship candidates match between um, JK the Bullfrog and Upper Wazen. This is game one. Uh, Ten games exactly. Uh, three plus two. Uh, let's go. And anyone in voice chat is welcome to join in the commentary. So we have an e4, e5. So Otho's playing theory. Um, we see the professionals of CWC and Clark says yes, indeed. And I'm just posting the link. Okay. <laughs> Fumi talks jokes. Don't suggest moves and hit. That's a good one. Zero zero. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem with black in this position. It hasn't castled. Um So knights, knights, yeah. G five. There's another knight landing on f7 potentially. Yeah, white is crushing this game. Hey, Antic. As the lone wolf says. Hi there, Kyle. Welcome to the stream. Antic. Yeah, I'm not hearing Antic right now. Hopefully, we'll, we'll come to. So where can we yeah, only us two can hear each other. <laughs> yeah, it's how it seems from last night. The hand and brain. <laughs> so he was talking, okay. Okay, so he's trying to encourage pawn at f7, clearly. I'm not sure. But this is kind of crushing. It's a kind of like pawn, at, I mean, yeah. There might even be sacked on h7 in this sort of position. Yeah, he goes for the knight on f7. I mean, you could just take the rook, I think, and then drop a pawn on f7. Maybe. I'd like that. I should be winning. Oh, well, yeah, white's completely crushing. I mean, it's funny because before this match, Otto was saying, I don't know what to play as black because all the lines are busted. Um, so that seems to work in his favor when he's white because I guess he. Okay, well, um, yeah, black has no respite. Like, black really needs an extra move to defend, and it's white's move, so. Pawn's coming to f7, and I guess, but I guess knight f6 to defend g8. So there's still defend g8 and e8, so there's still some coverage. Ah, so GSVC in text chat also says at f7, knight f6. So yeah, it, it feels good when I'm thinking alike to a candidate in the Crazy House World Championship. Uh, whereas uh, the Lone Wolf says knight. Only talks language. Okay. Oh, 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 I see. At f7, then black defends with knight h6. Okay, but the problem with that is the rook lands on e8, so. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit worrisome. Okay. But now, upper plays something completely different. Um, so I guess the idea is if the king takes the knight, the queen then comes to h5. Is that the idea? And then he's got two pawns and a rook, so he's got pawn check and if the, uh, and a rook. And if the king ever comes to g8, there's also a pawn at f7 check, and you're winning the queen. So you can't take that knight. Okay, so you have to move the queen. Okay, going for a counter. But King is just going to step aside, I imagine.
Yeah, so so Velocine in the chat suggested the threat was queen h5, bishop g6, queen takes g6, so it's h takes g6, so this is, oh, this is earlier. Uh, rook h takes g6, rook at h7, king g8, at f7, queen takes f7, f7, rook at h8, check. Oh, so he's, he's really, he's, he's taking that knight slightly risky. Um, I mean, if you don't take it pawn at h3 and uh, you need a move, you can't just play queen takes knight. That might give something for black. You mean knight takes queen? Okay, yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Actually, makes sense. Like, black doesn't have a second knight. Oh, I see. And now the queen can't run to, can't come in to h5. So that, that is interesting. Okay, an offer very low on time, only 15 seconds. So he has to find the accurate conversion. Uh, okay, so what's the idea of that? He's trying to get the king out. Just, just. I think the purpose is just to get the king out. Nothing else. So it's threatening it, uh, taking the rook with check. So it's kind of slightly annoying for that reason. He has to, has to defend. He responds with a check, so the threat is knight at h4 picking up the bishop. So that's what he's, he's doing. It's quite a nice idea. So it's quite a good counter, a good way of getting the initiative back instead of just moving the rook. And then there's a pawn landing on h3 and so on. This is a quite good way of turning the tables a little bit. Yeah, you take the bishop. Suddenly you want a bishop for a pawn. And you've got a lot safer. I has like no attack, so why does completely want him? Yeah. Um, so he's threatening bishop at g8 and then even the promotion. Yeah, there could be a promotion. Okay, now he needs to find that good finish. I was thinking bishop f7 check and then take the queen as being a possible idea. Okay, he plays it. Bishop f7 check. Um, the point is the queen's pinned, so it can't take it. So now you win the queen and you have a queen in hand, which should be enough, you would think. So, well, still some problem. Only three this is seconds not working good all Three the seconds. Time. Yeah, this what? Was... White resigns. Why can't the queen just move? Knight at e2, there was. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, you two pawn at g2, take, take, and you have a ton of pieces. You're probably going to get meat. Well, that was quite a shocking turn of events. Oh. And Lone Wolf says, yeah, White was lost in the end, but how did that happen? Yeah, so we'll definitely try and do some analysis after the game. Um. Uh, Alpo has been trying to find a line which is decent for black, so I assume this is like the best he could come up with. Yeah, so let's just look more slowly. D6. Well, I'm not convinced by bishop takes f7. I mean, the queen can capture. Yeah, that. neither am I. There isn't a knight coming in to attack the queen. There could be a pawn at e6, but you could just take it. It's not, not a big deal. King takes. But again, just just take it. Okay, maybe not take it because a pawn at g5. He doesn't even do pawn d5. Okay, pawn d5 comes next. Okay, that's true. But it doesn't because queen takes knights followed by queen takes e4. But, yeah. So I, I I think black is fine here. But the bishop. Oh, the bishop. The bishop at d5. Oh my goodness. That's the move. True. Sure. Okay. 
I mean, King takes knight would have been interesting. Probably, probably too risky. Maybe the queen. Either bishop, or the pawn. Yeah, probably the queen would come in, and yeah, so that'd probably be too risky. Maybe it'd be difficult to get back yeah. to d8. You try and get back to d8, but with the queen coming in and the bishop coming in, it could have been a little bit risky. Okay, so suddenly it's not looking so hot. Okay, so it seems like Off has managed to find some safety for his king, which is, but at the expense of his queen. But he's down one queen. He's down one queen, yeah. He's got, he has or a pawn, I think. Yeah. His name, his name doesn't matter. I know, GSVC. JK is still pressing hard. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of position though where, I mean, yeah, personally, I would still struggle against a better player because even though I'm up material, I, it's very difficult to see the way forward to attack. So you have to be quite smart. But maybe you'd like chess your opponent to pick or something. Pick up some pawns. I think you just defend for a bit here and then you rook g1, maybe rook at g3 or something next. Nice. Rook at g4. Yeah, very nice. Rook at g3. Mm. Just defend. You, you just win slowly. Yeah, very. Okay, so we're going to see how, we'll see how JK accomplishes yeah. that. So now f3 is no longer. Maybe king f1. Okay, he doesn't even want to take it. I take it. Okay. I mean, again, it's very tempting to take it. Take on h3. Take on h3 or take mm. on g7. x3, I guess. Okay, he takes on g7. Mm. Um, and it's tempting, you're picking up an extra pawn, and a pawn is what you need to attack, to, to drop on f7. Yeah, but I would have taken on h3, it seems much safer. Safer, yes. Yeah, this check is putting but pressure on... You can probably take the bishop. On the f3 square. Yeah, of course, he's got two rooks defending this square. Oh my goodness. So he's trying to go for a runner to c1. He's going to run to b1. To b1 even, yeah. And again, Offer really needs to yeah. accelerate. His time situation is not favoring him. Ooh, that's nasty because now there's a back rank attack after the rook is taken. Look at f1 becomes a threat. It's gonna take some time though. Pawn at d2 maybe first. Yeah. Queen. Again, taking on g2 was just much safer than this. Yes. Okay, now now JK's attack comes in. And two. Sign.
Okay. And I'm just going to. So off goes white again. We have the Evans Gambit. Okay, this time in the E45. A very curious <laughs> position. I guess the idea is to get a lot of activity and not a lot of black spruce in the hanging, but hmm, maybe the potential sack on F2, which seems worthwhile. Knight takes F2 seems playable. Which takes f7. So this game is going to explode because both sides are going to be attacking each other. I'm wondering if you can take that bishop or not. Yeah, take the bishop and the knights. Ah. So the knight falls with check. And after the dust is settled, I think we'd like a pawn up with a, a less safe king. And Fumi says, why not bishop takes f7? Uh, well, but that was earlier. Yeah, which is what he played. Okay, bishop d5. That doesn't really make a, make a dent. In black's position. He takes the knight, just develops the queen. If he takes the bishop, develops the queen. So, what he really wants to do is kind of like a. What he wanted, probably wanted to play something maybe defending the bishop, like maybe pawn at e4 or something, but no. And JK is not really even interested in, in taking the bishop, and, well, not immediately. Let me get some initiative. Okay, GSVC, I'm getting quite a lot of feedback from you. Not feedback, but background noise. Okay. I would just mute myself. No, no, but, but do, do join back. I mean, I, I think it's just a temporary thing. Okay, Queen H5, as Fumitok said in the chat. Okay, so what does what does white do? The rook's hanging, the bishop's hanging. Okay, pawn takes rook seems to be obligatory. Is the problem is if, nice if, if the bishop moves, you can go pawn takes pawn and drop a pawn on b 
two. So the knight drops to defend the bishop. But that bishop actually is a very valuable piece, probably worth the same as a rook, because the bishop could drop on e3. So I think... Yeah, but you have to be careful with rook at e8. You do that. Yes, okay, sorry. I have to be careful at the back. You might not be able to take that knight. So I, yeah, bishop, yeah, bishop a c1, rook at e8. Yeah, so if this, rook e8. Oh, so he's allowing rook at e8. Oh, he just missed it. This, he has to take, the, take it with the queen and moves. Takes, takes, blocks. And the problem is, is it a knight mates? Knight at d7. Knight d7 mates, yes. Yes. Okay, so, off of, in this match, 1-2. It's good to get on the scoreboard. So JK is playing... So we, we've, we've seen a, a change up from black. <laughs> yeah, last game was quite um, quite sharp, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm surprised he landed rook at e8. Why is JK thinking so much in move 5? Yeah, I, uh, I'm sure he's seen this position before. There is no reason to spend almost a minute by move 5. Ooh, that's a surprising move. Interesting. Uh, I also wanted to go G4, but I'm not sure how good it is. Yeah. So obviously knight's dropping on C2. Okay. Uh, bishop at A4 check, there is. Ah, uh, bishop at A4 check. A nice trick. So knight at C2 doesn't work. No, no. Right now, bishop at A4. And bishop four now. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe bishop a4 was better as a trick, but okay, actually, as a trick in case of knight c2. Yeah, but knight c2 came with checks, so it didn't really yeah. happen. Oh, 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 so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think he can play bishop b3 here and just give the queen. That's true. This could be done. And I'm, I'm wondering about knight takes pawn if there's anything there, but. Okay, this would be very complicated when he's down to for seven seconds. 
Yeah, you just lose a piece by doing that. It doesn't seem to work at all. Yeah, queen b4 check. So white needs a bishop on c3 but doesn't have one. Okay, queen takes b2 is coming. Okay, he takes the knight first. So knight d3 defending b2. And also hitting the queen here. This should be over. Okay. Take okay, care, going for f6. G7. And the H file is open, so rook G8 could. It's not so simple. Okay, knight's coming to f6, king goes to e7. Where's the fish? No, no, just sack the queen. Yeah. Because if king e7, what's the continuation? Sack the queen. He only has a queen, nothing else, and you're super safe. Yeah. It's time to turn to counter. We know it's checkmate almost. No, can't take this. I'm going to check. Let's see the mates. King goes here and bishop. Okay. He goes for a three knight mate. It's prettier. Um. Yeah, I know. Often he likes he likes these aesthetic mates. Aesthetic mates. Okay, we've got Evans Gambit again. <laughs> Okay, so d4 and e5 both playing. Okay. Okay, so he's going for knight at f3, picking up the queen. That's quite a nice little find. Now, can you get in on e2? No, because the bishop defends. Probably wants to just go as king safe, but then if he does, the attack will come on h6. So, hmm. Okay. 
wonder if there's yeah we've only got one pawn in hand so it's difficult to just sack it this looks bad for black Like you said, even up a pawn here. Unless I start developing it. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, at least D takes. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So Black's only got Queen in hand, but there should be. Something. I mean, is knight takes e4 on or not? So you know, rook takes knight would happen. Um, or rook takes knight. Rook takes knight would be met by queen takes bishop. In fact, rank attack. Yeah, it's hard to I mean, it's, it's fair to say, you know, White's position has been preferable, but it's hard to say that White is winning this. It looks fairly awkward for white, but a queen in the back row, just to make sure. <laughs> wow. So it's like white sort of undeveloped all these pieces. Um, but completely clear. Cleared his side of the board. It's like resignable now. So it's, it's quite a big material. I mean, white's got quite a big material advantage, and black's just got queens. Resignable at this level. Bakus in Twitch chat says, what is going on with Offer? He doesn't seem in form. This is not the Offer we know. Um, I wouldn't say that. But... Yep, he should be about to take a 3-2 lead here. But it's just, it's certainly been kind of tense, tense game. Hi there, white dancing rock star. Yeah, Makuz is a fantastic mod. Okay, we're just trying to clear out that knight so we can drop a rook maybe on e8. Rook e8 comes. Yeah. 
how can we avoid mate? Yep, black has. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so Offer takes a 3 2 lead at the halfway point of this series. Really, really tight games. And black playing a6 says hello wolf to avoid theory. We might get a wolf defense. Yeah, we're going to get a wolf defense from black. So we're going to see an attack on e6 and f7. I cannot believe this was for black. Okay, so castles because the queen trade may be coming, don't want the king in the center when that happens. Okay, offer putting multiple piece pressure on e4, but also on c4. Um, and the bishop does want to stay, and the bishop's a very important piece because it's generating this attack uh, to such an extent that he even, he's even. Trying to convert this attack now before that bishop is liquidated. Okay. One f7, knight will just take it, so no good. So probably knight at yeah, knight at g5. So hitting the f7 square, also hitting the e6 square, which is unprotected. Uh, but black could just play pawn at f7. Uh, Pumi suggests bishop at g8. It seems very passive. There's no, there's no way bishop at g8 is played. Pawn at f7 seems fine. Now that could just be that could just be taken that, that bishop give away the queen for two. Oh no, can't because f7 is covered. I'm a complete idiot. Yeah. Uh, you're not getting two pieces, you're getting piece yeah. and a pawn. Yeah. So maybe it's still interesting. Yeah. This h5, knight takes and bishop at g4, can take on e6. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. So instead we're having a, a really weird queen swap line. So just to go through that again. Knight takes, mm -hmm. takes, takes, queen takes the queen. Yeah, yeah. these knights are doing a... I would have given the queen. Yeah, these knights are doing a great job protecting the king for now. Um, so you don't want this pawn, so probably we'll sack to get rid of it, and then clear your back rank, seems to be an option. That knight's a good defender, the knight on f6 is a good defender, so you probably just want to, yeah, it doesn't work, because the knight can just take on e4, so... Yeah, so white's in some trouble. So I guess white must be thinking how to generate an attack. Okay, so white's just stopping any knight at h3 ideas in the future. While also putting pressure on uh, d7. 
So I guess we have a point of Yeah, they're, they're just doing a great job. Defending these. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. King takes d8. Yeah. Because if you take with a knight, you'd, you'd just help white generate an attack. King takes. Knight takes c5. Now, this, maybe pawn at. But you haven't got time, is the problem, but you want to. Oh. Can take them. Yeah, so why? There's no night checker. He doesn't want to remove the defender on h3. So I think Pop has navigated Ball checks quite nicely. And knight here and rook here is checkmate. Knight e2 and rook g. Oh no, it's not quite because king can take f1. So we have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, I think there must be a mate somewhere here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. There is you have two queens, yeah, there is so you can probably just go look at and queen at c4. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's, that's yeah. I don't, I don't like. I like the forcing lines. But yeah, of course. Okay, so a knight is landing on f4 and the queen or on e4. Land the knight on e4 and the queen can come across. And that would be mate with the rook guarding the back rank. Yeah, so that was powerful, powerful stuff from Offer. He takes a 4-2 lead. Has to win every single game in order to win the match now. So historically, they're also quite close, 42, 40. Okay, so again, again, got this Evans Gambit, but instead of the crazy sack line where everything is all pre, we've got a slightly different variation from JK. So white going, going for activity. I'm surprised he went for this again because his position was just bad. So he, the previous game he played this. Yeah, uh, but JK's just changed it up a bit. A bit. You know, I actually uh, Opper changed the move. How was that? Yeah. Yes, Opper Wilson changed the moves. He won CD4 instead of E5 in the previous game. So I, yeah, okay, I don't remember. Yeah, and that's surprising because I thought the line was just good for white. Opera is the one deviating from that game. Yeah.
Okay, it's going. And then obviously, I'd, I'd rather bishop takes f4 than knight h6. Going right from the beginning, just to work out the dynamics of this game. So why, why can't this pawn immediately be taken? Because it would open up an attack on g2. So why can't this knight be taken? Because it opens up a light square attack. Which is coming anyway. Okay. So, so white will have to try and attack down the center where the black king is. Whereas um, that's got a more, that's got the castle king to target. Okay, so why why pawn at f what pawn at c two? Why can't that be taken? Because then takes c two h g two h g two and the bishop and there's no king takes because of bishop d four. Yeah, bishop d four exactly. Very nice. So white throws in a. Uh, check. I mean, this is quite complex stuff. Okay, now bishop d4 comes. Queen takes bishop as expected. Okay, now White's going to try and quickly launch an attack before Black's attack converts. Does white oh promotes so white does have a lot of material. Queen takes knight will get a queen in hand. Yeah, this is yeah. Queen takes knight just gets a queen in hand. This is this is that was surely the best thing to do. Um, now the king can try and escape the checks. Yeah, this is quite worrying because, I mean, even in this position, there's pawn at h2. Pawn at h2, no, it doesn't quite work because the bishop covers g4, so ignore that. Okay, the queen is, has come into the attack. Okay, it's going to get forced back onto the back rank, so there's going to be an exchange of rooks, and maybe a bishop drop on d7 potentially but the knight's doing a good job knight's a good piece protecting a lot of very important squares for black king and he's doing his best to okay what does the king do let's try d7 okay rook takes rook is a threat rook at c8 is a threat but now there's a reveal check now there's a reveal check Oh, there's even a smother. Ooh, what, what, what? Yes, that's that, that's offers got him. That was brilliant, 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 brilliant play. Yes, and and that takes the score to five two to offer with five wins in a row after a love two start. Well, that was an incredible finish. That was like really intense. Really quite complex, crazy house. Yeah, sorry, Kyle.
No, I think that now it's clear that Topol is gonna be the candidate. He is certainly the favorite. Yes. Unless one, one, it's. Unless Master Turn wipes the floor. No, I think it's not really probable at all. Well, there's only one man who really has a chance now, and that's Master Turn. Unless Oppo wins, like, our uh, Wolves' two matches, like 12G and GSVC to catch up. Yes. And no. It must feel very good that game to him. JK, I don't know how he takes these games less seriously now. Well, he, he's if he wins three in a row, it's still a draw, so... That... But this particular game, yeah, let's see. Is Black doing okay? Uh, Bishop at e8, maybe, and then take the knight. I'm not sure. And then knight h, knight at a5 in the future. I don't know. Maybe it's not really fast enough. So the problem is, Bishop takes knight, knight a5, he could just drop a pawn on b7, so probably secures things up. So he's going for a kind of queen. It's not a queen, it's not a queen track for anything, so I'm not quite sure what that does. Okay, Bishop takes knight comes. Okay, I guess it's connecting the rooks on the back leg, which is always valuable. Bishop takes knight comes and threatens Bishop takes b7, so I think that Bishop has to be taken. Let me go on a counter. And then in order to attack that king, you might have to go pawn at b7 first, but the problem is you don't have another pawn. Um, maybe this would be a pawn. Yeah, so, but white does have two knights, so if, if the black king steps to b8, there's always a... So, Pawn takes bishop, pawn at b7, king takes b7, knight at a5, check king b8, and there's always a threat of knight c6, forking king and queen. Yeah, I, I don't. I, this seems to be conceding a lot to allow bishop takes b7. That feels like a. And uh, Baku says, I think JK is going to be winning this one. You think JK is going to win? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's been quite a. Yes. I think, yeah, the queen. At... I didn't like queen at. Queen at b6. So Baku says, Why are you on JK's TV instead of offer? Um, well, I've. Um, usually uh, stream from author's perspective, but uh, JK is the queen is falling and the queen is falling, bishop is falling in some order, which one do you take first? So the queen's first, the queen first and then the bishop, okay that's ouch. So the bishop has to, the bishop has to move, maybe the bishop takes knight.
Yeah, which looks like it happens. Pawn takes, and now there's a queen at b7 threat, which is blocked. Um, so, no way. Oops, going knight takes rook. I mean, it's very materialistic. But okay, instead goes for queen at e4, threatening queen takes b7 mate. But that could so easily be blocked, or maybe it can't so easily be blocked. Yeah, that's it. quite a good move. Knight f5. Defending and also hitting that queen. Okay. Knight takes queen. Then there's a discovered check. Ah, this could be very beautiful. Let's see. Okay, time, time, time. Okay, queen check. Um, queen, he sacks the queen. Okay, so white's got a lot of material, four knight, bishop, queen, but they've got a mate. Bishop takes bishop, bishop takes, there's no, yeah, I can't see a mate. So he's gonna have to grind it. That's a very good move. Because now you can, okay. Black only has a knight in hand, so yeah, maybe I think white's got too much here, but it's going, it's going to have to be ground out. Okay, we're going to grind along you know, this, along these dark squares. Okay, this gives up a rook. Ooh, that's not. Bishop takes bishop, pawn takes, the queen could then move, but okay. Take the darn queen. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, knight here. Knight at c6 is a mate threat. Okay. Black defends. Okay, now they're both pushing on time. JK, one second left. One second left. What? Yeah. So this this has got completely crazy. Nice c6 is mate. I don't. I was just about to say there's no way I can win this position, and then JK went down 21 seconds yeah, on yeah. this clock. Yeah. <laughs> so 5 3, the match is still alive. And we're seeing this Evans Gambit again. But this time. JK takes the gambit, takes the pawn. Okay, so when the knight moves, g5 is, is uh, g5 is a big weakness in the black position because knight and bishop are both hitting it, um, and black's two defenders are now going to be reduced to one. So black has to find some counter elsewhere. Did 12 team win every match in Lasso Canvas? He did, but I think he drew against some, yeah, he drew against Jan Lee. That's the one. Also he I'm pretty sure he didn't play. Uh, he didn't play what, uh, Kyle? Uh Blitz Bullet. I'm pretty sure he didn't play the match with Blitz Bullet. It was automatically made a draw, if I remember correctly. As so they agreed to draw, okay. Bullet. Yeah, because Blitz Bullet uh, was not available or something. Right. Yeah, I, don't, I remember there was one match which was, yeah, I don't, I don't remember it was that one.
second. I can look up the cross table for a second. So okay, JK and Fink. So yeah, offer still got it two or three matches left, so nothing is guaranteed. Yeah, you're right. It was against Blitz Bullet. It was uh, not played. That's absolutely correct. Then against Stanley, it was a draw. Yeah. But yeah, he won the rest. So it was quite a dominating performance by him. Whereas Jan was more like squeaking through in second place in the candidates last year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice attack from Alpha. Because if pawn takes knight, queen takes uh, f6, and that's very close to being mate. Queen could take the rook, king runs this way, king runs the other way. Okay, so this looks looks quite crushing with white having a queen in hand as well. I'll just play through how this happened. So he takes the sacrifice, gives a queen, very nice. Someone's keyboard is is blowing up. Um, Mid. So if GSBC gives a line, uh, King E8, Bishop takes F6, which we've seen so far. G takes F6, Queen Queen G7. I meant King E7 first move. Oh, King E7. Okay. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's that? I don't understand. Is that a mouse slip? Queen. Oh, no. No, 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 no there's no, Queen no. at F7. Queen at F7, okay, mate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, Opa loves playing moves that look like mouse slip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just wasn't concentrating. You have to concentrate against Opa. <laughs> yeah, he loves this stuff. <laughs> Oh dear. So he's defending G7 and also trying to distract that knight. And okay, so if the pawn is taken, what's the trap? JK down to four seconds. What's going on here? Well, Ponte Bishop is now threatening Queen at F7 and okay, JK flags under the pressure. So that settles the match. Six three to offer. One game to play, but the the match is decided. And the offer is going to play some fun stuff in the last game, perhaps. And play 12 teams opening. And and JK making no attempt to blockade off that bishop, just actually setting up his pawns. Oh, interesting. I think e5 is good. Yeah, I think it is. Um, bishop takes knight because you don't want to block in your wonderful bishop. Yeah. 
So black has one nice piece on the board, but uh, white's got several. And yeah, it feels like white's going to win this, but just from the opening. But this feels like the E file's opening before black's got a time to castle, and that the beautiful bishop is looking in the wrong places, basically. Premature. And white is threatening this side. Yeah, it's, th it's threatening a lot of things. Like takes e6, I wonder. Yeah, he could even take on e6, maybe it's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so bishop takes, is bishop takes g6 a threat, followed by taking the pawn and then trying to put pressure on e6. Okay, but Black's, Black's moved to defend. Hmm, that provides quite good coverage. That queen. Yeah, Dan, Dan Lee was saying how, how well GSVC played against Offer. Um, I think so, GSVC, you watch Dan's streams a lot, don't you? I, uh, uh -huh. Do you do you watch Dan Lee's uh, streams a lot? I watch some of them. And, and the reason I asked that is because I remember okay. watching uh, you against Schwanet in in the in the elimination, in, in, not in, sorry in the in the in the draw el elimination bracket rounds, and you were you were playing a line that Yasser had played against Jan Lee earlier in the week, and and I think Schwanet. Yeah, so Schwanner didn't know, really didn't know how to play that as well as you did. I, I, I was wondering if you'd seen the stream or whether you just, um, or not. Uh, I'm not sure what lines or something you're talking about, but I have lots of games against Schwanner. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I mean in the in, in the CWC, it was, is it, you know, the, it's the the jam. Oh, yeah, I know, but. With the pawn, so I just copy okay. Yasser's line because they are solid. Yes, exactly. I mean, I like if Yasser plays and it's all solid, then I can play it. So it was actually what Jan played against Yasser with the pawn at b7 tricks in the Scandinavian, that kind of thing. So the Scandinavian, oh, uh, d4, that, d5, knight f6. Sorry, d4, d4. I know, I know which one you're talking about, but. That is actually good for black. Oh, I see. I think. Okay. I think there's some bishop before check. White has to play at c3. Black castle just gives the rook, and then, then black has a lot of initiative for it. Yes. Losing a lot of material. Yeah, but you are doing very well in those games against Shrana, if that in those lines. So yeah. And yeah, it, it was just basically, it, remind, it reminded me of the games earlier in the week between, basically, Stranet was falling into the same traps that Yasser was falling into against Jan Lee. So that's what I was saying. Uh, I, I, I thought you'd done a better job of watching Jan Lee's streams, which everyone should do, obviously. I might have even prepared that line for that much. I don't remember what lines I prepared for. I remember that was like the first time I prepared for crazy hunt. Right. Yeah, I, I even prepare my Scandinavian with pawn at e4 just to go and confuse my preparation and lose in less than 15 moves again that I prepared. I see. Okay, push takes four, push takes f4. Okay, so just it's the same. The whole problem from right at the beginning of this was Black Quinn Castle, the e file was opening up. Um, how, how is that looking now? I mean, it seems like Black's closer to getting some kind of control, um, but yeah, 
I mean, I'm trying to just see the flow of this. So it's not. Yeah, so it seems like White's given up material somehow. Um, I mean, can't Black just drop the bishop back? Okay, he goes for something very aggressive. Okay, well, of course, there's a queen trade that knight could take back, so I don't see it. And why is this bishop poisoned? Because a knight takes bishop. Okay, so that's, in, that's a nice little trap. Well, so I was just thinking defensive would be bishop b7, so this bishop takes a2 is okay. Going, you're going for his tactics in a quite cool way. Okay, so black has finally got castled. But actually white's still very safe. So how, I mean, peace is down but safe. So I still think white's okay actually, um, but I could be wrong. So h2 is a problem, it just blocks it up. And it's going to be a time scramble, five seconds we're off to figure it out. Um, okay, going for f2 now, but again, white has so much material, it can just block. Knight at d7. There was knight at d7. Knight d7, king h8. And yeah, then knight take on g6. Take on g6, takes, takes, and then queen h. Queen h8 kind of ideas. Yeah. Uh, king, yeah. Yeah. Ouch. It was missed. Okay, off down to two seconds. Okay, that. Okay, going for a g7 attack. It's a bit slow. Pawn can just replace on g7, but he now has to try and go on h6. There you go. He's still going for g7. Okay, now he's going for the back rank. Okay, he's going to rook. Taking down white. Yeah, rook is landing on f8 and black resigns. Can't do anything, no pieces in hand to, to turn the situation around. 6-4 to offer, and that was a fantastic match. And congratulations to Offer Wazen, who's now probably just like one one or two games away um, from being the challenge being confirmed as the challenger. Um, so I'll I, I kind of uh, so uh, I want to add I'm going to ask uh, Lone Wolf, can I add you to the um, the CWC study to help show us um, to help show us this line and yeah the lines in general um, and also feel free to always add games in general that were nice and okay CWC candidates. Uh, there's a 64 chapter limit to studies, so I'm going to have to open a new study soon. But um, let's add members. Oh, okay, I accidentally added Flourish. Sorry, I didn't mean to add you, but okay. And I can add Kyle Legion as well. Um, take out Bullfrog. Um, okay, I want to add the lone wolf. Hello, Wolf. Okay, and I want to give you. Okay, so if you want, if you want to be at, at the moment, I've added too many people as contributors, so I need to just. Um, so the problem is if you're moving around, yeah. So I'm, I want to add you as contributors, but also I need like 
um, only one person to be moving it at a time. So we're going to add Kyle and JK. Okay, and Thrush, you watch a lot of CWC, so I'll add you as a contribution as well. But okay. Um, so let's just add this one. To the CWC. Oh god, I added it to the wrong step. Okay. okay, that's not right. Okay, so cross table. This was game one. Okay, so we're going to add it to study the CW, O2 CWC studies. Let's see, where is this? CWC candidates. Okay, so it's hidden away. Um, yeah, if you're interested in crazy health studies, do check out Sarah Man's student, uh, where I've added a lot. Okay, so this is game one. That's right. So, okay, so. Okay, so. Oh, uh, yeah, Lone Wolf, you, you can hear me. Okay, so I've added game one. You, you can take control um, and show us in that study, and we'll just watch. And I'll just add in also um, game. Which game number is this? I can't remember which game number it was. But there's something else you mentioned as being interesting. Let's just check the game number. And the, I'm sure there's lots of interesting stuff, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was game six, okay. Okay, so, so Operation was white. So let's have a look. So this was the first game. Actually, no, so JK the Bullfrog won this game. So let's see it from a black perspective. So, okay, but white was in control. Um, so yeah, you, you take who who's, who wants to take control? Um, well, I'll put this here, like, like uh... okay, yeah. So uh, I can add the studies. Um, okay, so I, I could I could add upper. Let's see. So upper's already in, so I'd have to sort of. Remove him and then add him again. Does that work? Okay, I don't know if it works. Um, okay. Oh yeah, so this is yeah this is the situation. So knight at f7 is interesting. What else? What other moves could white do? So knight f7, yeah, white's got a slight edge. Okay. Uh, queen f8, very good. Knight takes h8. Is is good, and White did that. So look at f7. Yeah, this is what uh, the lone wolf was telling us about. Look at f7 is strong. Knight takes h7 is the second best move. Knight f3 is the correct continuation. G takes f3. Yeah, King takes h7. I thought King takes h7 was losing, but apparently that that is playable. If king takes h7, I thought queen h5 would be crushing, but obviously not. The queen can't go. So what? I mean, uh, that's why. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the queen's blocked. Okay, yeah, sorry. That was the whole point of knight. Yeah, yeah, this was earlier, earlier. Okay, yeah. That's why king takes knight was impossible earlier. Okay. Um, okay, but. But I think the line that Lone Wolf wanted to tell us about was, but he's not yet in the study, was rook at f7, queen g8, and then pawn at f6. Uh, so maybe bishop h6 to defend that. Uh, takes, takes, and then drop again on f6. And yeah, takes f6, 
takes h7, queen takes rook forced, and then you pick up the queen. And king takes knight, probably getting you mated because now the queen file is open. Um, okay, so then this, so this is, so white only has a queen in hand, but black's king is completely exposed. Um, okay, um, so I don't know if Otto's mic is working, if he wants to join. Okay, so just looking through the game one again. Okay, so um, so I think I'm going to look at it from White's perspective because White had a good attack which didn't quite convert. Um, okay, and yeah, let's let's uh, let's just okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to kick off from the study and re-invite him. That way, he'll get a kind of little message that this, yeah, he'll get a little notification about the study. That way, he'll be able to join us more easily if he is free. Yeah. So, so white. Yeah. So it was white who went for this bishop. I'm trying to remember. And this is game one. Okay, so in Evans' game, if he took the, the bit, I'm like this opening till d3. Takes, takes, d3. Cool. Um, knight takes c3. Knight takes c3. Bishop takes c3. Knight g5 check. So so Arthur saying he reckons this is good for white. King g8, so king g8 is a good move because if king f8, then knight at f7 picks up the rook. So king g8 is really probably about defending that rook a little bit. Queen has to move, so when you take the rook, the king can take that. Now I thought pawn at f7 would be good. Um, so in fact, we were discussing in chat pawn at f7, maybe knight at f6 as being a possible continuation. Um, and yeah, knight at h6 doesn't work because rook at e8. So you need to defend both uh, g8 and e8. Um, so so pawn at f7 was one idea, but um, the black can just play. Ah, oh, but black could just play knight at f6. Yeah. So apparently this doesn't work because of queen to h5, um, which is really crazy looking. The idea being that if you take that queen, then rook at g8 is, is, is mating. So rook at g8 takes, takes, queen drop, queen to the back rank, and smothered mate. So that's a mating attack. So that and queen can't be taken. So you have to play bishop at g6. But now there is still rook at g8. Knight takes takes, queen takes, and now we have a smothered mate idea. If, not, if bishop takes f7, knight takes f7, the queen has to give itself up at some point. And you're going knight takes queen, and you have to take it, because otherwise queen at h8 is checkmate. So bishop takes, oh, it's not checkmate, sorry, the king can run and take on f7 itself. Um, so knight takes h6, g takes h6, bishop takes h6, threatening mate on g7. Okay, and then this is very, very good for white. So it's a very interesting... Um, yeah, it's a very interesting attack with queen h5 if he defends with the knight. And if he defends with the bishop to stop queen h5, there's, there's always... Um, There's always rook at g8, but apparently that's not so strong. Apparently even rook at e8 is... Oh, or even rook at g8, yeah. You're still picking up the queen. So this is... Um, yeah, but instead of playing... So pawn f7 I quite like. Um, and the computer even thinks it's equal at low depth. But you just go... You, you actually suggest the line to the computer. And it suddenly says, oh wow, white is actually... 
you know, plus five at least. Um, uh, rook at f7 is another interesting idea. Queen sidesteps and then go f6, defends, defends. And again, that's another way of getting, getting the queen. Um, okay, but what we saw in the game instead was knight takes h7. Um, and knight f3 check is the computer's best move. Takes, because the idea of that is you're actually just blocking the... Um, but what, why not just king h1 here? So king h1 apparently is really, really, really bad. And I think this is what Powell mentioned during the game, because black gets to go pawn at h3 and begin a light square attack uh, on the white king. So takes king here, king across, pawn here. Yeah, takes f3 is the best. Takes, uh, king takes knight, rook at h4 check, and rook takes here, takes h3. Okay, so white's doing okay. Um, it reckons maybe pawn h3, takes h3 immediately is possibly even better. Um, but, yeah. Um, King h1, h3 maybe. I want to keep the king on a worse on a worse square. Yes. So this this accomplishes this. Um, so quite a nice idea here. Check knight g4, but here it looks good as well. Knight takes f5. So white's looking good here. Um, so threatening bishop at g8, and it's kind of hard to defend, so it comes. Um, um, yeah, so the disadvantage, yeah, the promotes to queen, and apparently promoting to queen is not such a good idea, so it's such a natural move to do. Um, but somehow that allowed black to the queen just takes too many moves to get into the game. I'm very surprised by that. Um, so the move that the computer likes is knight takes g7 check, which I don't understand at all. Knight takes g7, queen takes g7. Yeah, I, d I don't see this at all. And then knight at e6, bishop takes e6, bishop takes e6. Okay, so I, 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 okay, I'm just going to go promote to queen, takes here, this seems reasonable. Um, so that avoiding the check, stepping back, queen here, bishop here seems very reasonable to try and get the queen with check, so you've got the potential for a big attack. But knight d4 now, the problem is the knight's coming in here and a, a pawn's coming in on g2. And uh, yeah, it's kind of paradoxical, but it's, it's white who turns out not to be safe. A pawn, a knight, and a bishop. Um, so knight at e2 is just mating here. Pawn at, uh, yeah, take take the rook first, and then pawn at g2. Um, so it's really surprising. But look at h1, and it's, it's black is getting. So it seemed like a good idea to win a queen for a pawn, and even during the game I was thinking bishop f7 looked like a nice idea. But it seems like this queen in the corner is taking too many moves to get into the game. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, so let's, let's open up the game again. And okay, the other interesting game was game six. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll do them. We might do the rest if we have time. But let's just have a look at. Uh, and if the lone wolf in particular tells us, yeah, which games in particular are worth checking out again. But or author tells us also um, which game he'd look like to look at in more detail. Um, 
By the way, Oppo, this is, uh, you said that was, uh, like you prepared for that, right? Yes. He prepared up to a certain move. Oh, he... In the Crazy House channel. The sack on F7 was a surprise. Yeah, so this this seems to be the key point. Um, white to play. Um, so I'm just going to ch change the position around to white here. Okay, so this was a key position. There was only, um, and I think this is what. Lone Wolf is telling us there's only one move in this position for white to to get an advantage. Um, so the way the game continues, bishop to h3, bishop takes f1, check, king takes knight. And yeah, in the end, yeah, white just doesn't have anything to keep an attack going, and uh, yeah. So in this in this position, after which takes e two. Okay. It turns out the key move is knight takes b seven. Okay, so I guess that does save the knight. Okay, I'd be slightly worried about. So is there any mating threat here? No. Yeah. Really. Uh to take the knight with check which is going to open f7 and also you get a knight in hand i don't know if you can run the king but it's definitely something so, so if black does bishop you need to let's just check if black does bishop takes rook oh you're winning the knight with check okay yeah okay and so bishop takes knight and now there's no longer a guard on f7 um and if, again there's only one move for white apparently which is going to is going to cut it like something at f7, pawn at f7 is no good at all. So just to see as an example, pawn at f7, uh, black can just run to f8 and is completely safe. So, so the only move is queen at c6 check apparently. Um, so. And if the king just runs to the side, okay, of course, the well, rook, that's the rook, obviously the rook is hanging. Yeah. Like, yeah, the rook is hanging. So, what else could white do? Um, king f7, okay, this, this rook is hanging, but it suggests queen at d7. So I'm just trying to think, so why can't you just take the rook? So, taking the rook is actually not good. Because then you lose your you lose your attack apparently. I'm really confused. So apparently the best thing to do is queen takes d7, knight takes d7, and this is forced mate. With bishop h5, check. G6, pawn at uh, f7, check. King takes f7. Uh, pawn at e6, check again. And this is very believable. You have a knight and a queen in hand. King takes e6. Um, bishop to g4 check, pawn at f5, um, you pick up the extra pawn, which apparently is needed, now you're going to, probably, probably going to go um, build a pawn chain into the position. Okay, knight at c6, but still there's a lot of coverage, the bishop's guarding e7, so what's the idea? King to f8. Okay, so you've got a lot of pawns though, so pawn at g7, ah, so he tries to avoid, if he takes it, then he's got pawn at h6, and that's going to be bad. But if you just go here, it's going to be pawn at f7, and then you're going to have to take it. Okay, and then you've got, what do you want, pawn at h6, king takes f7, um, pawn at e6, and your queen's going to be coming in to f7 with mate. So okay, so a whole long 
line for why queen at c6 is apparently a good idea. Um, so maybe, so it's getting, oh I see, getting rid of that knight allows this bishop to come in. I don't know, apparently this is, you, apparently you just have enough pawns to make it work. Okay, so bishop takes rook doesn't work. Um, but why can't you just take back the knight? That seems also a perfectly reasonable thing to do. And then again, it's this queen at c6 idea. Um, so again, black can drop. So what's what's the idea? Pawn at f7 check, king takes f7. Pawn at e6 check, king e7. And then maybe bishop to g5, providing coverage of the back rank. And also with the threat of picking up a knight with check and continuing the attack. Okay, so this is this is like plus eighteen. Um, okay, but what actually happened in the game was okay. So that's good stuff. Is there any interest in looking at other games? I'm not sure. I don't know what Opera wants to do. Okay. Um, so let's just have a quick look. I mean, this is game two. Uh, we're looking Again, from J, uh, JK1 game two. Yeah, I, I don't I think we. This position. Yeah, so I guess this was interesting. Uh, was was rook takes h6 or rook takes g7 better in this? Rook takes h3 or rook takes g7? Yeah, and rook takes h3, which GSVC suggested. Just keeps the king safe, and then white's more clearly winning. So I guess that was, and now what actually happened in the game? It was more of a, a fight, and uh, like actually picking up the queen, but doesn't have enough to stop the mate. So that was game two. That was quite interesting. Okay, then game three. Let's look at. It. Game three, just just do it. Well, I'll, I'll just play through it. I won't bother doing it in the study. Oh, should I do it in study? Yeah, it's easier to do it in study because then you can see what I'm doing um, live. Okay, so game three, just loading it up. Okay. Okay, so this time. Um, uh, JK rejects the gambit, so Stockfish likes apparently taking the gambit, but okay. So rejects the gambit, and yeah, all those pieces are hanging in a way, it's really confusing. Um, apparently Bishop takes f2 may be better than Knight takes f2, and that's what Fumi was suggesting in the chat. So Bishop takes f2 might be better. Bishop takes f7, knight takes d4, takes the knight with check, okay. So yeah, I didn't get this, bishop takes knight really wasn't ideal. So queen h5 is a good move here. So, yeah, that's what happened in the game, but take, going queen h5 first, ah, so offers playing with it now. Um, so so can you hear me offer? Um, just so at this point, I wonder if Queen. Okay, you, yeah, you you can you can play with it. I just want to just add in the Queen H five. Something at G six. So pawn at G six seems sensible. What's the idea here? Knight at G five check. Okay, you, you, I'll let you. I'll let you play with it.
and as it offsets the threat is away from E3. After at G6. Yeah, because he uses the pawn for this and Yeah, yeah, that's true. So maybe using a knight. Yeah, and using a knight, then Yeah, so there's no longer a thing. No, it is not. Using a knight, then what? Uh, then you well have much in hand and Yeah, not much in hand. And like you can So and if it's a pawn, then knight's g five, king maybe drops back. E8, uh, pawn at f7. Well, why e8 then? If you could, yeah, e8. Or what about f8? So f8 is bad because because then knight takes h7 check. Oh, okay. Um, so e8 is fine. Pawn at f7. King to e7. And uh, yeah, and then just casually drop back to e2, saying, okay, yeah, like you said. The, the, there's no longer a threat on uh, the e3. Um, okay, and that, that pins the bishop, so bishop can't take. Um, okay, so that was just interesting. Um, okay, other ideas here. So bishop takes knight felt, yeah, so if you're going to take one of these two pieces, I was thinking take the bishop, because the bishop's a good defender of the king, but um, bishop takes knight. e3 is a stock which really likes this, goes straight in for the attack, don't even take back. Now queen h5. King drops back, bishop drops back, and now you know, black is actually winning this now. This is game uh, game four. Rook here check, nice move, wins the bishop and drops it on e3. Um, and yeah, so, so black is completely winning this, but now um, uh, knight at f4 hangs a mate in three. So this is a nice sort of position, white playing with. Um, and this will have a rook at, uh, rook at e8. So there are no, there are no blockers. Um, queen takes e8, and the rook would have to block. But you have a knight in hand, so you have a smug mate. Knight e7 check, mate. So that's that was a good um, mate. Okay, so I'll put that as four. Third chapter. That's worth worth having a look at. Okay, so next. Um, I think it was game four. Was it game three? I know it was game three, wasn't it? Yeah, it's game three, sorry. Um, let's just correct that. Okay. So chat okay, so game game four. One, two, three, four. Let's just open this up and study. Okay, so now we look at uh, so so far one, three, and six are really, really interesting. Gentlemen, hi there, Bakus. We're still streaming. But are you still analyzing the games? We're still analyzing and we're still streaming, indeed. Oh, uh, and if you want to join us, nice. Uh, uh, if you want to join us, I can add you. Can I add you? No, no, no. No. Like I said before, I have nothing of value to contribute. Yeah, but you, you can watch that way. So I'll just add you. Uh, Bakus. So I won't make you a contributor. I'll make you a, a spectator if you don't want to contribute. Okay. So that's no pressure. As you wish. But yeah, no pressure that way. Um, okay, we have JK the Bullfrog and Obi also in the chat. Sorry, in the spectating this. Um, Okay, so this is game 
This is game four. <coughs> Opal, you want to play some hand and brain? Save chapter. Yeah, so we're quite keen on doing some hand and brain at some point. Or other fun stuff. Taste. Okay, so that's interesting there. It's perfectly playable sack and it's kind of nasty position. For white, it's difficult to defend accurately. Queen a4 check seems playable. I think I quite like queen a4 check. But okay, bishop a4 also works. b5, you have to just give up the queen. Okay, but the knight takes was not the best way of giving up the queen. Um, so that was a bit of an error. Um, so, yeah, this one, Jakey's Bullfrog was white. Yeah, so what was the best way of giving up the queen? This is really quite tricky. a3, maybe. Knight takes c2. Bishop takes c2. Um... But anyway, knight takes is just a mistake because it just gives away, seems to give away a piece. Check, takes the knight back. Okay, so black was in control of this one then. Yeah, and just gives, gives away the queen. And, uh, there's a, a nice, a very pretty mate that's finished. So. I'll, I'll just, uh, knight takes e3 was a, quite a nice mating sequence. So I'll just put a, a position black to um, position black to play and mate. Okay, so why why does knight makes bishops? Knight takes e3. So why is this so powerful? Because if if the pawn takes the the knight, we have got queen take uh, queen to d two checkmate. So king has to run. So you're coming in. Okay, although the knight's guarding f two, yeah, the, the king's sort of running out of squares. Knight takes. So double checks so has to run again, and of course bishop d six would be mate. But this is just very, very aesthetic finish. Um, yeah, that was really nice. So I'll put that in the highlights. Okay, so now let's look at uh, game five. And just have a look at that in the study. And just... Um, just letting people who are watching the study know that I'm streaming it. Okay. Um, so I should just go back. Let's click. So, so here, off ways is white. Okay. So instead of going for bishop takes f7 this game, this offer kind of changed up the opening again. So bishop takes f7 was the line he said he said earlier that he'd prepared, but he did also knight takes bishop, knight takes knight, c3, knight back, c takes d4, c takes d4. Yeah, so in this position, e4 is hanging and d4 is also hanging because of the Oh no, it's not yet hanging because the bishop does cover e2. Um, but e4 is hanging. But, but uh, black, so jk goes straight in. c3 was a better idea. Takes d4, c3, d4, oh, that's speed. c3 is better. The idea is takes d4. So, so what he, okay, I see. So c3 is a better move, yeah. Um, takes d4, open up the center of the speed. Yeah, and do I remember this game? Yeah. So this is quite nasty. Goes for this. Okay, so it gives up the queen. But yeah, so I remember this where all white's pieces were on the back rank. Um, queen takes d1, he played, knight takes d1, rook at e1. Whew. 
not to do not sure what to do after queen c2 yeah it was rook takes f1 bishop takes f1 so it feels like white's got a big material advantage but okay and probably king takes f7 might have been necessary in this position or queen at e1 maybe but queen at e1 knight b to c3 covering covering e2 and white should be okay Covering e2 and obviously covering its own knight. Um, and maybe also king takes f7 immediately is another possibility. But yeah, white is still actually doing really well here. Um, and it does, does indeed convert that the win. So it's quite a, a strange sort of position. Uh, JK says, I saw bishop c5 and forgot about it. Um, so where's bishop c5? Yes, this, so after d5, bishop at c5, and it's just picking up free piece, I guess. Yeah. And that kind of cements white's position. So I guess that was a key point in this game, those two moves. Either queen at e1 or king takes f7. That, that mistake. Um, okay, so that was interesting. Um, from game six, we looked at already. One, two, three, four, five, six. So game seven. Yeah, game seven. Wasn't this the, the beautiful mate? Let's see. Oh, this this was beautiful. This was fantastic. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay, this was really, really, really pretty. So. Um, Pawn at e2, typical computer idea. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll say feel free. Yeah. Um, so, so again, we have this line with uh, Evans Gambit takes, takes, knight back d4 okay so this this time e takes d4 and instead of taking back e5 um now d5 takes not taking the bishop taking back okay so basically in i remember in this game black's king was in the center and 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 uh white's king uh This that knight e4 is just okay. Um, I'm trying to work out. So knight to h6, rook g6, takes f7. So it seemed to be a good sacrifice. Um, although the computer doesn't doesn't like it so much. Okay, queen here. So, king takes f7 is apparently safer. And yeah, it's quite complex. Takes g3, takes back. Knight comes out again. Takes g3, takes g3. Rook takes, knight takes rook. Uh, h takes g2 is a thing. Okay, so this pawn at c2. Rook at h8. Knight blocks. So yes, yeah, so what, what was the reason for this again? The, the reason was if you take the, the bishop, um, bishop at e4 idea. Uh, so the bishop at e4 does come, 
and the cleaner set. Um, so white, oh, oh, and then promotion was just killing. And then I was thinking in this position, um, instead of going knight d d7, there was just mate just by obviously clearing out, clearing out the queen. Um, so then white would have to find mate in this position. Um, so bishop at h6, for example, if, if black tries to either move or drop. Um, he's got two knights, so if he goes to king e7, one of these two knights will be able to um, to let the queen in and mate will follow shortly. So knight at d5, bishop takes knight, knight at f5, king tries to run, queen to e7, have we got enough to do the mate, king, to, king c6, then we've got knight to, to d4 and then the queen is coming in and mating. So the king has to drop back to f8, c8, and then where's the mate? Probably just do this and smother, and then boom, boom, and you're mating. So yeah, so knight f7 wasn't considered to be ideal. So what was the better move in this position? I was thinking bishop h, bishop h5. Maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll let I'll let I'll let them just sort of play around with this bit. So rook g7, knight f5, takes takes takes. F takes that c2. Um, so, J I mean, JK says, um, not playing good for some reason in this event. You didn't play your best today and still won. Oh, I'm not sure. I, they, they were they were really good games, I think. Um, Yeah, so he, so he prefers rook g8, knight, rook g7, knight f5, rook g6, c takes d4, f takes g3 as a way of keeping things going. Well, he must have known the case, I think. Um, okay. And I just want to just quickly check here. We do have the Evans notebooks. Um, I can't follow the chat easily uh, as well as okay so that was um, he says this was more to the point uh, h takes g2 yeah h takes g2 definitely rook at h8 knight here knight g7 check king takes f7 this gives white yeah uh, this gives white some more more of a headache. 
and point C2 doesn't really work. So it goes straight in with point X, HTX G2. Um, so it's got cute with point C2. This is nice and interesting. So let's quickly compare the next one. Okay. Oh, that one has none too. And then quickly go back to those. Um, Sorry, was he in the middle of looking at something? Sorry, yeah, point at G5. Yeah, and then it was just all over. Okay, um, Bishop G5 recommended by engines uh, versus pawn at G5. So let's just see what. Um, pawn at G5. Oh, yes, here. Yeah. Bishop G5. I guess developing one's pieces. And he says, ah, oh, rook at E8 check is the idea. Um, okay, I'm. Okay, so a rook at E8 check is the idea. Okay. So if queen takes bishop, rook e8 check, knight takes, pawn takes. Oh, an e7 mate. Oh, wow. Or takes f6 if I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if it's a bishop, if the queen. Wow, okay, so if the queen takes here, rook at e8, knight takes rook, pawn at e7, knight. Um, so he has to do something else. Say bishop e6 or something. But yeah, but then if, if he does bishop e6, bishop takes f6, uh, queen takes f6, and now we have um, a nasty fork. But if pawn takes f6, then we're, we're in on pawn g5 runs into pawn e2. So white would still have mate here with bishop c5 check. Blocks, takes, takes, queen at d8, knight, queen at d8, knight d8, f, mm, not sure I understand fully. Bishop c5, queen, c5, oh, take, once you've take taken the queen, queen at d8, and a blocker would be takes, yeah, if you, oh, white, black has no pieces to block, so it has to block with their knight, and then just take. Yeah. Now, in this position, black is the one who's got mate. Yeah. So if If you take that is, but if if you do something else like pawn at e7, king takes e7, then it's still complicated. G takes f6, 
Context of six. Anyway, the game goes on. Bishop g5 check. King has to choose which one do I take, the knight or the bishop. And yeah, white's just <laughs> it's be a crazy game. Um So pawn at g5, so pawn at g5, the thing to do is e2, there's more of a, not pawn here, but queen, um, queen takes d4, so just promote that variation, queen takes d4, the point being that you're making very serious threats. Um, King takes bishop, king takes queen would be mate along with yeah. Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, the next one, um, which is game eight. Is it game eight? Let's just have a look. Game, yeah, game eight. Um, Is this it? Yeah, I don't remember this. I'm sort of like. Yeah, I've noticed the queen takes e6. It's quite interesting. Pawn at f7. King runs away. Yeah, I felt, I felt queen. If you take if you take the bishop, maybe pawn at b7 check is winning. So I think just let's just check that line. King takes b7, knight a5, and takes f6 options. Right. So you'd have to go somewhere like here. Um, but then you have bishop takes f6, and so that was the point of this bishop move was just to pick up this pawn, which is then going to fork king and rook. So yeah, this is pretty nasty. Okay, but it turns out there's something even stronger, is there? C8. Yeah, I think that's it. That's as strong as it gets. Um, okay, so that was that was that was a well after Queen B6 and the, this was just very you're just losing a queen and it's just very hard to defend. But he still uh, grind it out a little, but but White was always winning this. Um, so operator says miss knight at a5 back, so which move? After at c6. On move 17, king takes b7, uh, knight c4, knight c4, knight a5. He did play knight a5. Oh, he didn't play knight a5. He played. Yeah, he did play knight a5. Oh, he, oh I said he missed. He missed. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. He missed it as in he didn't see it was coming. Yeah. Um, but it's difficult to see what you can do. I mean, it's, it's already too late in this game. Okay. And game nine. Let's just quickly have a look at game nine. And then you've got, so you've got two games to go. Um, So this is game game nine. 
and upper is white. Um, and again we have okay, so we're back to the bishop takes f7 line, we've got back to the all the pieces hanging line right here, and bishop takes queen, bishop d6, we need a check. Yeah, I thought this was really neat, this move. But apparently bishop takes f6 is even stronger. Um, so bishop takes f6, the point being if he takes back the bishop, then knight at g5. is difficult. Also, also there's pawn here, king here, knight here, and queen, and that is also very nasty. So pawn at g7 is actually just completely Prussian in this position. Um, yeah, I had no idea. And then, yeah, there's nothing you can do. If you do something at rook g8, then you've got, um, I was thinking knight at h6, but even better apparently is Queen at f8 takes, 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 and you're coming in. And you can block, but I've got a pawn and a rook, so I've got a pawn. Um, and then the rook's landing on f8 with checkmate. So actually, the sacrifice on f6 was even stronger immediately uh, than later. Uh, but anyway, it's just crashing, and uh, black resigns. So it just would have been a, a quicker way, a quicker way of dealing the blow. And finally, JK the Wolf of one game ten. Um, and let's just open that up. Finally, in the study, and that's the last game. Okay, so so off we're going for a twelve team type opening. Yeah, white's got a big advantage in this opening, and yeah, e six is really tender. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, knight. G5. So I was wondering. I think in this position we we're thinking, is knight takes e6 anything? Um, so knight takes e6, f takes e6. Bishop takes g6 is okay. Pawn at f7 is pretty good. Bishop g5 is pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, which g5, what does he do? Knight takes f7. What other moves were available instead of knight takes e6? Trying to think what, he was trying to think what should black have done in this situation. So black, white has got like all these pieces into a, an attack and it's already plus eight. Um, so it's so something's gone really wrong already. Um, knight d5, castles. I mean, if we look at the opening explorer in this in this line. Um, Maybe knight takes c3 would have been the thing to do here. And that's something which is borne out by explorer. It's like, uh, and then d6 or something. And it wants knight at h4. Or knight at d5. Hmm. Not convinced. And d6, it doesn't like. No. 
what's knight at h4? Um, because I guess you take that knight. And then... Yeah. They want to go knight at a5. So this would be... <laughs> yeah, this is very un uncertain. Knight at a5. I want to go knight at f3. I, I just don't get it because you could just take that knight. Um, okay, so I just don't understand this knight. No, oh, knight at a5, not knight at h5. Okay. Knight at a5. Okay, but then bishop could just take here. So I, I'm not sure. Hmm. Knight at f4 is a good to more defensive move. That feels better. Bishop e7, d5, trying to break through the center. Well, we'll try to block up the bishop, maybe. I mean, he could take. But then knight at f5 becomes an issue. And if you just go here. Then knight h5. Yeah, so white is really in control. So that would have been any anyway, alternative, swapping and something like that. But instead here, knight g6, got it, knight. Yeah, what other options? There's also bishop takes knight, which is nice. So h takes, and then knight takes e6 is possible, or d5. So d5 is good, but also knight takes e6 seems tempting. So knight takes e6, f takes e6, uh, e takes d6 with a threat on this bishop, on this pawn, which takes d6, rook takes e6, king d7 or bishop at e7, king d7, rook takes bishop, okay, c, t c takes d6. Okay, so it's not clear who's winning, but the black king is struggling to find a home. Um, so anyway, instead, uh, Offer went for knight takes knight and putting pressure on. And yeah, he d he does this as a sack anyway, and it's quite difficult to defend, but some yeah somehow. Somehow in this game, Offa did put up, did defend really nicely, to the point where I thought Black here is actually doing okay. But okay, so I think he just dropped the bishop back. It's fine. Or knight takes f4. But okay, this he takes queen, rook takes queen, castles. And white's king is always safer than black's in this position. So it's very tough for black to win it. So that's why it's the plus eight difference. Okay, and then there was a miss here. With uh, knight e7 immediately. Or oh, actually h7 check immediately. How about that? So if king takes h7, you have knight here and queen here checkmate. So you have to go king to one side. And now you have queen at g8 check. And if bishop takes if bishop takes g8 we have knight takes pawn, king takes pawn and queen h8 mate. Oh it's not queen but knight takes f8 check. King runs. King can't run. King has to go back. And another knight at g6 is checkmate. Um, so so black has to take with the rook. But now we've got a rook in hand, check, which you have to take. Again, if you take with the bishop, it's going to be knight takes pawn and rook here, checkmate. So you have to take with the king. But now we have knight e7 check, and we have two pieces uh, attacking g6. Uh, so if the king were to run to here, you have knight takes g6, 
bishop takes, knight takes g6. And if the king were to run here, remember the rook is cutting off this file, so rook here would be checkmate. Um, so the king would have to run here. Pawn takes pawn check. If you just run back, rook here is checkmate, so bishop takes pawn. And now the, now the coup de gras, which we'll end on. Rook at h8, check. King takes rook falls. Knight h takes g6. The knight keeps him, him pinned to this file. And now we've got a bishop, so the bishop comes here. There was actually a bishop guarding g8. So we've got knight here, check. And the bishop prevents the king from getting out. Come back. And knight here, checkmate. So quite a, a stunning uh, checkmate uh, with pawn at h7. So after pawn at e3, instead of pawn at e3, this is uh, position white to play and mate. And uh, so yeah, so we were thinking of ideas of knight e7 check and knight takes pawn breaking through on here. But there's an even more beautiful ap approach with the pawn at f7 check. And I should put the rook, the rook takes as the as the promoted variation takes back. King has to take again, otherwise it's smothered. Knight here check, takes, takes. We sacrifice the rook, we sacrifice the bishop. And then this is checkmate. Okay, I think that's a lovely little mate to end on. And uh, thanks to International Master Ockways and, and JK the Bullfrog for offering their insights after the game. Thanks for Carl Legion for joining me during the stream. Um, and uh, thanks to Bakus for dropping by and saying hello also. Um, okay, congratulations to Ockways and for another win. A perfect record so far in the candidates. And good luck to all the candidates in their future games. Uh, we're really enjoying the matches. Okay.